Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I started last Friday on Manjaro that I injected myself Friday night and I will be injecting myself again this Friday night because I'd rather sleep away the symptoms. Um, but <laughs> if you go to sleep because I took it last Friday and I stayed up, well, I took it at 11 o'clock at night and I stayed up till three in the morning, I couldn't go to sleep. So then I decided to take my muscle relaxer and then by 3.30 I was asleep. So that's what I do at night, I take my muscle relaxer. Some nights I try not to take anything, but I've noticed that um, that's gotten better during the week. So some days I take it and some days I don't, some days I go to sleep with no problem. But some things that you should have on hand when you start this Manjaro journey, um, is laxatives because you are going to be constipated well some of you are going to be constipated some of you are um, not going to be able to stop going to the bathroom and nausea some people are going to be nauseous um i bought some i did have nauseous i bought ahead of time i bought some um prego uh candies which is for morning sickness from amazon and that helped a lot. So I keep those in my car. I keep them at work. I have them in upstairs in my house. I have them downstairs and living them wherever I'm at. The candy is there just in case I start feeling nauseous. But I noticed that if you start feeling nauseous, it's because you need to drink water or you need to eat something or both. So that's what I do. When I start feeling nauseous, I grab that candy and then says, I'm I just said, okay, when last time I ate, and then I go ahead and I eat some protein or something. So I definitely have on hand laxatives. Um, I'm reading from a little paperwork that I wrote right here. Um, water, water, water. That's another thing. Water, 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 and more water. Um, I also noticed that if you're not drinking enough water, you're going to start getting this funny taste in your mouth. Um... I only had that a few times because I try to stay drinking my water. I try to drink like a gallon of water a day. And geez, be ready to be running to the bathroom. Some days I'll be like, oh my God, am I going to make it? Or am I going to need some Depends? Just saying. Add that to your list, but I'm just saying. I'm over 50, so. Um, magnesium. Um, B12, because sometimes you feel like you have no energy at all. And some days I feel good, and some days I feel like, oh my God. Uh, I don't even know. But um, I started taking B12s um, for energy. That's what it says on the bottom, B12 energy boost. Um, so I take that. That helps. Um, I started exercising, which I was exercising before this and watching what I was eating before this. So I had lost a few pounds before this, and I was working out before this. Um, but weight wasn't, like, falling off, like, before. Like, a couple years ago, I lost, like, 60 pounds. And um, it was kind of easy for me. I just cut out sugar and salt. But this time after 50, over 50, it's a little hard. I needed some help. So that's when the doctor prescribed this for me. Plus, um, borderline diabetic. And I had my grandma, my grandpa, my mom had diabetes. And it's in there. It's in the genes, you know. But I'm trying to my best to work on not getting it. But, hey. It's a process. Um, so I take um, protein shakes. I bought a whole bunch of protein shakes just to have on hand. Sometimes if I just really don't want nothing too heavy, something to drink. Most of the time I drink them in the morning before I work out. Or after my workout, I'll drink one and then um, continue on. So tomorrow I eat lunch. Um, then I have dinner. And then um, electrolytes, because you know you're peeing and peeing and peeing, so all you letting all that stuff out of your body, you need to replenish. So if you want, you can buy some electrolyte powder. Amazon has it. I think most Walmarts have that, CVS, Walgreens. Um, some Pepto for nauseousness, because um, some people have upset stomach. Um, Ollie felt nauseous the first day. No, that morning after I took the shot, I felt nauseous. I didn't really feel it that day I took it. That night I took it, I should say. Um, but occasionally nauseous. I just learned now, eat something, drink something. Um, like I said, 
Water, 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 water. I can't say that enough. Water, 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 water is so important. Um, and that's about it. That's my update from last Friday to this Friday. That's a week. So in total, I lost three pounds. Hey, I'll take it. And then um, the craziest thing. Um, these pants that I have that I wear to work. And um, usually I usually wear like a 40 in men's. And then I was like, my, my husband washed the laundry today. And, and um, I did all my uniforms he washed that were like a 40. So they weren't dried in time. So I was like, oh my God, what I'm going to wear? Everything is wet and I got to go. And so I said, well, you know what? Let me go back to the old pair of pants when I had lost a whole bunch of weight that I was wearing, which is a 38. And so I put them on. Oh my God, I was shocked. They fit. I mean, they were tight and snug, so I don't like to wear them when they tight and snug. I like my clothes to be a little loose. But anyway, I put them pants on, and guys, I'm not lying to you. My belt buckle, because I have to wear a belt at work, and usually I'm like two notches from the last two. And guess what? I literally have my belt right now on two notches, um, always to the end. I'm going to show you. Hold on. So you can see, hold on guys, bear with me. Okay, look, I don't know if you can see it, but look, this is like the last hole. I couldn't believe it. Like, and it's like, not tight. I can't believe it. All the way to the last hole. I was in disbelief and shock. So I guess I must've lost some inches. Um, I did measure my waist before I started, but I don't want to measure my waist until once I hit that one month mark. That's when I really want to do my inches and my boobs. I did measure my boobs and my waist. Some people say your arms, you should measure. And you're like, my main thing is my boobs and my waist for me um, that I care about. Of course, my thighs, but I didn't measure those. But anyway, that's all I wanted you guys to know. Some things that you should have on hand if you decide to go on this journey. Come on. Come along. All right, guys. Be blessed and not stressed. Have a good one.